Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous videos, we have automated simple login page where we have interacted with different elements. Now, while interacting with these elements, there are some scenarios like you want to clear the text or you want to add the text in existing. So how we can handle that? So WebDriver will provide these functions, add value, set value, clear value, and get value to interact and handle these scenarios. Now let's see what is the use of each operation or method available. Yeah, so for all these functions available here is already there um, in the WebDriver IO documentations. I'll leave a link in the description for all these options. You can go and check. Now how each thing works. So first thing, set value. Now what set value does? Send a sequence of keystroke to an element after input has been cleared before. That means first, if any already data is present in the text box, it clears the data and then it enters the new fresh data that you're supposed to enter. And this is the syntax await dollar your locator uh, and then set value and the value you need to want to enter. Then we have add value. Now how add value does whatever you have data already available on top of it, it will add new. So if something is already existing in the box, it's not going to clear it. It is going to add on that. And then uh, syntax is await uh, locator and then add value and then the value to be entered. Then we have get value. Now suppose once you enter the data, you want to validate whether the entered value or entered data is correct or not. You want to assert it. So you can use get value to retrieve that particular option or the data that you have entered and then you can assert it. And the last one is clear value. Now if you want to clear some text which is already there, you want to clear and then you want to perform some certain operation, you can use clear value. So set value function is the combination which we if you go here set value is the combination of add value and clear value these two mixing we get set value so if you want to clear the element and add the element at one go then use set value instead of rather than using two but there are some scena certain scenario where you want to just add the value on the existing so you can use that and if you want to clear and test validate something you can use clear value now let's see all these things practically how it works yeah, so let's get into the actual coding now what we are trying to do let's just try to handle so we're going to use the same uh, login test case that we have already written. What I'm going to do, I'm going to write one more ETO log. So I'll just copy this one and paste it here. Now I don't want to uh, run this test case, only this one. So we already have seen the Mocha basics. If you want to run from multiple test cases from a single file, how we can add. So you can say it dot only and it will execute only this one, not the first one. Now we don't need this login button. We just need username and password. And let's see how we can how all these operation works. So if you want to enter the data first, you'll have something called, uh, we have used set value, so let it be. Now, what do we want to do? First, after in the, any in, name here in the text box, so suppose you enter something, then let's retrieve the text and see what it is, the value is there. So how we can retrieve it? Let's say console.log, I'll add my comment, um, value, username with set value and then await we don't need password as well let's just deal with only one text box and then we what we'll say username and then dot get value so now get value will you know retrieve the text so once you enter using set value it and then it will it will print it so this is the one then what we are going to do once it enters everything then we are going to use uh, or the try something called add value now what it should do is add value should add extra you know additional input because we will already enter with the set value these data is standard user hmm. one more user then it should add on top of this text it should add one more user so the output will be something like this first it will enter this then it will print the value whatever is the data then it will add on top of it it will add here again and then let's try to print what it is printing so it's in the username with add value and after that let's clear the element so how we can clear the element we can say uh, clear value and then remove the text we don't need any text the syntax is await element locator 
and then clear value. Now, after that, let's see what is the value that we are getting as an output. So here with clear value. Now, what should happen? First, it will enter the, this user as standard user. After that, it will add one more user in the same text box and then it will print it. Then it will clear the value. And then after that, again, we are trying to retrieve the value and see what it is behaving, how it is behaving. So let's try to run this file. Now, when we when we say dot it only, it will be applicable only for this file. But when we run this now, our test, it will run one, two, three test cases. So instead of running three, I'm going to run only this file, uh, source demo dot login. So let's go to the configuration and change the name and add the name only for this so that it targets only this file. Now let's try to run. I'll maximize the terminal and make sure your log levels also has been already changed because in the last video itself i have changed to error if you have you know info because if you have info it will have so many details i don't want to see i want to see this value printed in the console so let's say npm execution will be a little fast but that is why we have logs to check just trying to execute yeah now execution has been completed now let's check what happened in the log yeah username is set value so once we first entered this value so this is the value that has been entered right then after that we try to add a value and then we are trying to print so what it printed here username had value standard user and again on top of it using add value it added the one more value whatever we are adding the text it is adding in that only that means add value does not remove the text it adds on top of any other existing value then we performed clear value and then when you are trying to print here you will see nothing has been printed actual value because we have already cleared the value so yeah that's how these operation works uh, and you just need to use what kind of scenario what you want to use so if you want to you know always clear the element and then you just perform the data or uh, you know enter the new text you use set value otherwise you can use add value and then whenever you record you can use clear value yeah so we have seen how we can use this set value get value you know and then you know clear value and add value to interact with the elements now at times you might have to retrieve other way of the you know the data that you're entering for example as of now you use get value to to retrieve the text or the value but at times you might get value will not work so you have some other options called get text or get attribute let's see how we can make use of that or how it is where and all it is applicable so in the official documentation we have something called get text get text content from dom element make sure the element you want to request the text from is interactable so for example this is the div and this is the div closure in between whatever we have is a text uh, one example we can take here in the source demo if you inspect this element here you'll see inside h4 this is a text whereas inside a div these elements are attributes so id and uh, id is that in attribute and the value of that attribute is there but this is a plain text so if you want to retrieve such a data here then you need to say use a get text but if you want to retrieve something called class value of the class then you have to use get attribute let's see how we can you uh, you know use this first let's write the locator of this um, h4 so i'll say control f dollar we have id for this particular value and then we navigate to h4 so we'll say h4 this is a css locator now this is the locator now in our test let's write one more test and we'll auto generate the block using mocha should fetch element text add here a sync now we are going to remove only from here because we are not going to run this we are going to run this value dot only let's first open an element so uh, load a url so i will say browser dot url then whatever url we have then await browser dot maximize to maximize the window let's write the look at the const um, user header and then dollar inside that your locator so this is how you write your locator now one thing you'll notice this browser.url is here as well it is keep on repeating it's repeating here 
and repeating and even the maximize window we require in all the places for example here we require and then we require here so now what i notice a common pattern here is this two code is common in all the blocks so instead of writing in all the blocks we already have seen in the mocha we have something called hooks where we can run before or we can run before each so i'm going to use before each inside that open app async error function and then click it now what i'll do i'll just cut this code from here i'll paste it here now i can remove from all the steps available so i can remove it from here and i can remove from here as well so we don't have to run or we don't have to write the same code multiple places so if you have some code which is common all the it block all the it block just put that in before each or before wherever applicable i want to open the url before each test case starts so that's why i'm writing it here now let's come back here now we we want to uh, retrieve a text of this data sorry the text of this so we have written the locator and now if you want to validate or the print you can say console or let's say const header text equal to await then user header dot we have function called get text and let's do console dot log header text it will print let's add assertion as well uh, so we'll say expect uh, and we'll say header user header to have text and then the whatever the text what we are expecting we are expecting this as a text let's validate here so it should match otherwise it will fail so this will retrieve the text now one more thing is not just retrieving the text but the attribute also for example uh, i'll take example i want to know the attribute or the class what is the value of the class for this particular locator id locator so let's write the first locator of this okay so const uh, login area login area element in dollar we are writing this locator we need to add hash because we are writing a css locator right now we need to make sure we can our if you want to you know retrieve some attribute called value of the class then how we can do it so we have to say const um, login class value await how we can do so login area element the element locator dot get attribute is the function and then inside that what attribute you want to achieve you have multiple await added so let's remove it now what attribute you want to you know retrieve from this element i want to retrieve the value of class so let's say class and then let's try to print console not confirm console dot log login class value right now let's write an assertion as well to validate so how we can write assertion for this await expect this particular element and then you can simply say to have uh, to have attribute containing and then what it should contain class attribute should contain this particular value so i'm saying this element should have attribute let's say that at least should have attribute to have attribute so what attribute class attribute should have this value let's see what it expects so the para expect matcher so to have attribute attribute what is attribute and the value to be matched so attribute is class and the value to be matched is this so we are writing the assertion in this way 
this element should have a class attribute with this the value and even we are trying to print right so we can you know there are other operations as well not just attribute or text also so in official documentation if we see we have a get property html location and so many other operations but these are going to be heavily used get attribute get text get value now let's try to run and see whether this is working or not let's save this and let's run this Okay, it executed. Now let's see the values, whatever we are seeing here. So test has passed first. That means it's working fine. Okay, so first we are trying to print the console here header text. That means what was the header text? This is the header text, right? Accepted usernames. And that's what it has printed here, right? Then second, what we are trying to print the console, we were trying to print what is the value of this class, login credential. And see, if you see, the same thing has been printed here as well. And even the assertion has been passed. So yeah, this is the way we can retrieve a get text as well and the get attribute as well. If you want to use any other options available here, you can just read it. If you have any you know difficulties in figuring out how these things works, just write your details or the issues in the comments and I'll try to you know respond. That's all for this video. Thank you so much.